Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingfans.com. Would you like to actually have a very cool terminal that has a lot of cool features that is actually pretty damn useful, especially when you are a developer? If you would like to have that, stick with me. I'm gonna teach you guys a couple of little tricks for your Windows computer. She want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key. You gotta slow it down, girl, you moving too fast for me. Nobody did it like this, so they wonder they asking me. If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me yeah, yeah. I came up from the bottom, now look at me now, they mad at me I cannot slow it down, cause it's coming too fast Now, for me. this is going to work on any system that is using Linux And of course, Windows has is WSL, which is a subsystem of Ubuntu installed inside of your computer so if you have that already set up you're good to go all you have to do is just follow this tutorial all right so I'm already expecting that you guys have the Windows terminal already installed inside of your computer now if you guys don't know how to do that right and you don't have it installed it's very simple all you have to do is come here click start and then from here search terminal just like that click on apps click on the store search for terminal and then from there just install the Windows terminal which is this one and then you also need to install uh, basically Ubuntu now of course like I said uh, you can go and search for a tutorial on how to do that uh, either you install Ubuntu which is this one or Ubuntu 18 or Ubuntu 20 is up to you if I was you I would just use this one which is Ubuntu which is gonna install the latest one okay so once you have that installed and you have your terminal up and running now this is where the fun begins so if you want to have something like this this is where we're going to go in and i'm going to teach you guys how to do this okay very simple i have the instructions on the description just in case so you could go in and follow along but basically let's do it so the first thing that you want to do is you want to come here and do sudo apt update this is going to update uh, basically your Linux and a couple of different packages that you already have it's just gonna update things around okay once you do this the next thing that you're gonna do is come here put in your password okay you're gonna update this give this a little second okay now of course I already have all of this installed I'm just showing you guys exactly what to do uh, but you go into step number two, which is sudo apt install zsh, right? So we're going to use zsh for our shell, okay? You're going to install that. The next thing that you're going to come in, you're going to install oh my zsh, which is this command. This is step three. Again, all of this is on the description. So once you do that, okay, you come in, you install all of that give this a second okay uh the next thing that you want to do is you want to come here and clone uh the steam which is called spaceship okay and you're going to download this you're basically going to clone it and then from there is going to make uh the spaceship prompt uh theme f installed on your computer and just get it up and running okay again once you do that the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to run this command, which is step number five. Again, all of this is on the description. Okay, you're gonna paste this in just like that. Okay, all right. It's already been created, so I'm good to go. Now, the next thing that I want you guys to do is install a font, and we're gonna install a font called Mononoki or Mononoki <laughs> font from Nerf Fonts and you can get this right here on this website it's called nerdfonts.com and you're going to click right here where it says fonts download once you do that you're going to scroll down okay scroll down scroll scroll okay and you're going to see this one mononoki nerd font you click here to download and then from there this is going to download it you open up the zip file and then from there what i want you guys to do is basically install each one of these okay so you go in click install okay now i already installed this so there's no point so you just go in one by one install all of them and you should be good and that's going to allow you to have this font which is going to allow you to put in uh basically 
uh, icons like this one that is right here. It's just like an icon font. If you ever use font awesome, it's very similar to that. All right. Now, the next thing that I want you guys to do is I want you guys to go in and basically go into your home directory and then from there uh, edit this, which is a dot zshrc file okay so you're gonna put in code and then you're gonna put in this little icon this tilde right and then from there you're gonna put a slash dot zshrc you're gonna click enter and what that's gonna do is gonna open up vs code for you and you're basically going to be able to edit the file using vs code um, once you're in here the next thing that i want you guys to do is coming here where it says zsh theme right you're going to put in spaceship once you put in spaceship you're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom and i want you guys to copy something that i already gave you guys in the description you're going to copy this code which is basically all of this that's right here you're going to paste that in just like that just paste it in okay and you're going to do like that put in a space right here okay that's it so what this is going to do is going to create that icon for you which is the one that you see right here and basically it's going to give you guys a uh, spaceship character color success yellow uh, prompt default prefix for the user uh, prefix show true user show true okay all of this you don't have to worry about it man right? you don't have to worry about what's exactly happening in here is just adding some colors and some default things all right now the next thing is very important i want you guys to come here save this file and then i want you guys to open up your windows terminal all right and what you're going to do is you're going to come here where it says on this little corner you're going to click on settings all right then from there you're going to click on appearance right and if you want it to be light, you could click on light and that's going to make it a light version. If you want it to be dark, it's going to make it into a dark ver version just like that. All right. It's up to you which one you want to use. I'm using the dark version. If you want to have it just like me, hey, add the, the dark version. Okay. Uh, the next one that we're going to go into is where it says color schemes. Now in here, you're probably not going to have any of these things that I have right here, which are different themes and different examples of how you want to have your, your terminal. Now, what I want you guys to, to do is basically create a new one. Okay. Click add new one. And then from there, uh, name it, whatever you want. Okay. This is just to make sure that you have a, a color theme in there. So here you could just call this testing. Okay. Save this and that should be good once you click save now this is the next step the next thing that i want you guys to do is open up uh, a link that i'm giving you guys on the description of this video which is going to bring you to my uh, coding face themes folder on github so once you get here this is my repo right uh if you want to get it like this to look like this this is the instructions you come in you refresh this give this a second there you go you got the windows terminal settings now this is an example okay this is an example of how this is supposed to look your your settings now you don't have to add everything that i'm, I'm showing you guys here is up to you if you want to uh, but basically what you want to do is come back here to your windows terminal click on open json file and it's going to ask you which f type of program you want to use and just use VS code just to make it easier or whatever text editor you decide. Okay. So basically this is a JSON file and this is where you put in all of the settings for your terminal. Now, like I said, I have this file for you guys here, the exact same one that I have, but I don't recommend that you go and just copy and paste everything. Okay only come in and add certain things to it and i mean like this you see where it says profiles you're going to find this section where it says profile then from there you're going to come in and you're going to go into let me close this up you're going to go into uh that folder that i told you right 
or that file that's inside of github right here coding phase themes and then windows terminal settings you're going to come in here and you're going to actually just copy the things that i'm telling you right now which is copy this default right you're going to copy this default okay copy like this all right and then from there once you do that you're going to go into your file settings.json and right here you're going to paste this in put in your defaults which is going to be like i said the mononoke nerd font put in font size 24 put in the font weight of bold okay the next thing you're going to come in and you're going to come here and you're going to copy where it says like this uh color scheme coding phase right you're going to copy this from github copy this and you're going to go back into your settings okay scroll down right this you can go ahead and do the exact same thing for powershell uh command that exe you could do it for the azure cloud right uh but here what i want you guys to do this is for ubuntu this is where you go in and you set the settings for default for ubuntu you're gonna come here and basically paste this in here just like that okay once you do that uh you basically have a color scheme is going to say coding face of course you don't have a color scheme called coding face yet so don't save the file yet okay now this is where it gets interesting you're going to come down here of course this is a json file you're going to see this array and inside of this array is going to have all of the themes for every object that's in here that's actually a theme as you can see you got some background colors the black the blues okay and then from there you have things like the name so that's the name of the theme and then from there you just continue to have like colors uh basically the numbers of the colors or the name of the colors okay so what i want you guys to do is you want to come down here and just copy this whole array come down here da -da -da. okay you're gonna copy all of this copy this from here and from there you're gonna go back into your vs code go to the settings and again come here copy over and just overwrite that whole array you could either delete it or just come here and overwrite it okay just like that i deleted it and paste in that array that we have right here on this terminal settings for json okay so now save this and then now what you want to do is you want to come here to your terminal and close this window okay once you do that you open up your terminal and there we go this is how your terminal is going to look now another thing that's very useful is coming here to settings and i want you guys to go there's a thing to basically let me see where's a interaction appearance uh, matter of fact click on ubuntu okay and then you want to go into where it says starting directory now i recommend for you guys to click here and start your directory from wherever it is that your projects are located so for me it's inside of the c folder and then i have a folder called projects double click into that and click on select folder and what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that every single time of course save this Right? Every single time that you open up uh, Ubuntu is going to basically start up from that location. Instead of starting from the home directory, meaning like this, instead of starting from, from here, okay, you're going to actually start from that location of your folder. Right. So I'm going to close this just to show it to you guys. I click here and there you go. Automatically starts from Mount C right and then the projects folder okay that's where i have all of my projects now another thing that i wanted to tell you guys is basically how to set up uh the default right so some of you guys are using windows for the command prompt the powershell etc for me because i enjoy ubuntu i go in and i make sure that instead of saying windows powershell because this is what the default is for you guys right now okay it might be just like that that's the powershell powershell's trash windows is trash so <laughs> so my advice bro 
is start this up by default Ubuntu. Okay, so every single time that you go in and you create a new tab, automatically starts up from Ubuntu. Okay, just like that, just like that. All right, so like that, when you have your projects, let's say for me, I have CD uh, levels tool slash client. All right, I could go in there and automatically as you can see it tells me the location that I'm on the folder I'm in levels tool slash client okay this is the branch that I'm currently on uh, it shows me the version of the project right it also tells me the version of node.js all right and then when I run this I say npm run dev okay I'm seeing my application showing up with some colors it's looking great okay is very simple to do this hopefully this was helpful for some of you guys and you enjoy this video if you enjoyed it make sure you give this a like make sure you give this a thumbs up of course like i said um and show me some love subscribe to the channel now again i didn't edit this i didn't do anything this is just live i said you know what let's do this quick tutorial and actually do it for the peoples because i always get people hitting me up like hey joe how do you have a cool terminal how do you do this this isn't that well, this is how you do it, kids. Okay, I just showed you. So hopefully right now you're good to go. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section. I will try to help you out as much as I can. But pretty much everything is there. Okay, all you need, again, is the Windows terminal installed. Right, so this right here. You need to have the WSL or WSL2. It's up to you which one you want to use. Me personally, I'm just using WSL. Uh, for whatever reason, my computer has some issues with WSL2, so I'm just sticking with WSL1, right, <laughs> I guess. Um, it's not much a, a, of a difference, uh, but basically that's all you really need, okay? And of course, VS Code to be installed in your computer. That's about it, and everything that I just showed you guys, those little quick steps that's on the description, is all you really need to get this started. Okay, so I'm going to stop right here, guys, and I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com. Peace.